Good day, I'm Andrea Chisholm and this is your JIS News for Thursday, June 5. Cabinet has signed off on the terms of reference for the recently established Electricity Sector Enterprise Team, ESET. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller told Parliament on Wednesday that the team should lead and manage the procurement process for new electricity generating capacity in consultation with the Office of Utilities Regulation, the Jamaica Public Service and Energy Minister Philip Paulwell. And is expected to manage the implementation of a comprehensive program to urgently replace the base load generation with a more efficient plant utilizing lower cost fuel in order to ensure that electricity is reliably provided to Jamaicans at affordable a release from the Office of the Prime Minister also indicated that the enterprise team should also review the current policy for the procurement of additional baseload generation and recommend possible changes to the policy. The Energy Minister should also be advised on the terms of the license or licenses to be issued. The six-member team, chaired by Dr. Vincent Lawrence, should also perform a quick assessment of the electricity sector and develop a short-term action plan to reduce electricity costs while diversifying the fuel mix. The National Housing Trust NHT is on track to complete over 2,000 housing solutions during this financial year. Minister with Responsibility for Housing Dr. Morris Guy gave an update during his sectoral presentation to Parliament on Wednesday. Mr. Speaker, this financial year, despite economic challenges, the NHT will be dispersing over $22.4 billion on construction and mortgage financing activities so that more of our people can have a place to call their home. In the 2013-2014 financial year, the NHD disbursed over 7,500 construction and mortgage financing loans to the tune of $22 billion. The Petrocariba Development Fund has set aside $18 million to assist landowners in receiving titles through the Land Administration and Management Program LAMP. The money will assist those who are unable to complete the process due to lack of funding. In his sectoral presentation to Parliament on Tuesday, Portfolio Minister Robert Pickersgill said 62 files were already submitted for processing. The minister also indicated that $20 million was allocated to fund the operations of the adjudication committees in nine parishes. The committees will assist persons in getting their land titles. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade has commenced preparations for the 6th Biennial Diaspora Conference from June 14 to 18, 2015. The focus of next year's conference will be trade and investment. State Minister in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Arnaldo Brown, says an implementation council has been established to build on the progress made at the 2013 Diaspora Conference. Significant work has been done in terms of distilling the uh, rapporteur's report and fleshing out um, an implementation schedule. Further refinement of that work continues now with um, JAMPRO working to distill it even further. In the meantime, the State Minister said the international migration development policy was 90% complete and the diaspora database should be unveiled at next year's conference. And finally, the Health Ministry will be better able to provide quality health care for patients following a donation of medical supplies valued at $600,000. The medical supplies, consisting of surgical tools and medications, will be distributed to the Kingston Public, Cornwall Regional and St. Anne's Bay Hospitals. Health Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson welcomed the donation from Senior Pastor of the Perfecting Faith Church in the United States, Donnie McClurkin. In fact, it is this kind of partnership that we have for a long time, recognized as significant. In 2012, the health sector received donations totaling $637,000 U.S. dollars from 172 medical missions visiting the island. In 2013, donations totaling $990,000 U.S. dollars were received from 197 missions. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Thank you for watching.